that Jamie Turner is the co-founder of 60 Second Marketer who joins me from the CNN Center. But the hey, reality, Richard, good, good to have you, sir. What is it that she brings in terms of brand credibility, trustworthiness to Weight Watchers? You know, if you look at everything that you just pointed out, think about all the different things that she has done in her life. Oprah really kind of represents our greatest self. In other words, people look to Oprah as an aspirational figure and they say, hey, this is what it looks like when you are authentic, genuine, when you are achieving everything that you possibly can in life. And so Oprah said, hey, I'm going to take that credibility and that trust and that value and buy into the Weight Watchers brand right. and she is a user of the product and that ultimately resulted in the stock price going up like crazy. But I remember years ago, do you remember the Remington Shaver commercial where he said, I like the product so much I bought the company. I mean, you've yeah. got to actually use the stuff and your credibility goes on the line with it. Yeah. Absolutely. And that was a great campaign. I, I liked the product so much. I bought the company. She's basically doing the same thing. She liked the product. She used it. She used it to lose some weight. She also likes where the company is going, that it's not just about points and, and all and meetings, but it's getting into an entire holistic lifestyle. She liked that. She said, I'm going to invest in the company. And because she's so good as a business person as well, she said, not only am I going to invest in it, but I'm going to make sure that investment is tied to the brand and increases the value of the Weight Watchers brand, and that's exactly what happened. So, what does she have to do now? I mean, uh, uh, pardon the phrase, besides lose weight. I mean, what else does she have to do? It's not been clear whether she's going to actually uh, do commercials or become an ambassador more than a passive investor in losing weight. What would you expect her to do? I think she'll probably become an ambassador. I don't see her doing TV commercials around Weight Watchers. Her brand is too powerful and all extensive for her to be tied too closely to any single brand. But what I do see is that she will become an ambassador for Weight Watchers. I think people will be watching her. And, of course, she'll end up uh, increasing okay. the value of her stock. She went up so, $43 million this morning. I, I, I'm sure, as I say, the stock exchange is looking at any trades in that stock over the last few days because nobody could have really forecast 100 percent or a doubling in the stock value. What's the big downside for Oprah in all of this? Is there a downside? There are a couple of downsides. One is people are going to be watching her weight more closely now, and if she doesn't lose weight, then they'll tie that to the Weight Watchers brand. The opposite can happen. If Weight Watchers does something wrong, for whatever reason, if there's a scandal or whatever there is, that then tarnishes but, the Oprah brand. Now, the Oprah brand is super powerful. She's not going to get tarnished that badly no matter what happens, but she obviously spends a great deal of time making sure that she doesn't have anything tarnish her brand. Do you remember the name? I, I, I'm, I'm cheating here because somebody's just told me in my ear. Do you remember the name of, I like the company so much I bought it? Yeah, it was uh, Gillette. No, Remington. Remington. <laughs> <laughs> it was Remington. Richard, great point. <laughs> it was Remington and it was Victor Remington. Kayam who said, I right. like the company so much that I, I like the product so much that I want it. Good to see you, sir. Thank you very much indeed. All right, Good the markets that close virtually where they started.